Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is Inclusion Film Arcade, and my name is Jeff Smith, and I am gonna ask questions to Elliot Snyder, and we're gonna go from there. Thank you. Okay. Hi. Hello. Pleasure to meet you, Jeff. Pleasure to meet you too. I have a question for you. Yes. What is the question? And what is Machinima, really? Machinima is the art of making art of making movies um, with with video games using their models and their areas and their backdrops. And what game was the shot on? Yes, um, I made a Machinima using uh, World of Warcraft, a uh, MMORPG came, that came out in 2004 by Blizzard Entertainment. What is the legality of making video game and movies? Um, for the most part, they, the, the companies are, are pretty okay with it. Now, I couldn't bring it into a production office or pl play it in Hollywood without the, with the permission of the um, company. But I can make them, and I can post them on YouTube. And they, it's, it's mostly for them, it's free advertising. But um, some companies aren't, so, aren't okay with it. And you got to know that when you're making the movie and make sure you're not using a company that would be upset about it. And you can, as long as they're okay with it, usually you can, uh, you can make a little money off it by putting on ads on the video on YouTube, like those 15, minute, 15 second advertisements you see on there, actually they go directly to the, uh, the author of the video. Why make movies about games? Well, I mean, video games is a growing market and it's, it's become quite popular. I think someday it might even rival, very much rival Hollywood when it comes to entertainment. Um, and, and you know, there's like this. Set, for instance, on World of Warcraft, there's seven million people playing, and that's more than some small countries. And for instance, the um, I personally don't have experience in filming this game, but uh, Grand Theft Auto V just came out, and it, it on its first day sold over eight hundred million dollars. And I didn't know that. that's a fair amount. So it's 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 proof that the that the uh, that there's the want, of the love of video games, and ma making movies about them is just seems to be the next step. What is it like to work with visual actors and on visual sets? Well, for the most part, the actors I used were my own in-game characters, so it was mainly me acting. Voice acting was done by me and a few friends. When it comes to virtual working on virtual sets, it was a little more hectic. On a real set, you rent out the place. You rent out the place, you get permission to film there, and then you can shoot people off. Where, if you try to tell some random dude who is, you know, killing mobs in a game um, to move off the, the area because you're filming, he's probably not going to listen to you. And let, in characters who are less likely to listen to you are the ones that aren't run by players at all, are just computers. And usually for the computer characters, you just kind of have to um, kill them. What do you mean, like, kill? Well, I mean, they're, 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 just, they're not real people. They're just, you know, mices and mouses and rats and... I don't know, other things, and you kill them, and then they, they're on the scene anymore because they're dead. Oh, lovely. Mm -hmm. uh, did you have any of technical difficulties? You know, I'd really like to say I didn't, but I had extreme amount of technical difficulties, and this is part of the issue of working on, on instead of recording with a real camera, you're recording on the computer. The first day I was supposed to start shooting my scenes, the Warcraft servers went down for like, few hours and I wasn't able to start recording until later in the night. And then I, when I did, I tried to change the lighting with um, my, my viewer, to, to my model viewer, which, which I used to make the characters, and the lighting wouldn't change at all, so I pretty much had all the, all the uh, you know, lighting, lighting about the same, so I had to do that through editing. And even, and, and even a technical difficulty, which isn't, is usually not considered technical, in the game, it started to rain, and I couldn't change that, and I couldn't shoot a different location, but it was raining in the game, and so I had to actually shoot it in the rain. So it was almost like a real, real issue, but in, in a computer game, and technical issues. What do you mean by um, rain? Well, it, it was really raining, yeah, because I was in an open prairie area, as you'll see in the movie, and it just started raining, and it was dark, and it wasn't what I wanted, because I wanted a day scene, but I couldn't do much about it, because I was on a tight schedule, and 
that was a certain way technical difficulty, but it's also a difficulty that real people have in real life when filming normal movies too. Why is it easier to, I mean, can you know, in that? to do? Was it easier? It's not necessarily easier than live action. It's, it's in, in some ways it is, because you don't have to real deal with real actors and stuff, and you, you're not using real cameras. But in many ways, the editing process is, is even more is harder, because each individual model is shot differently. And they're all green screened on, and you have all these different models that you have to position for each, each, each scene. And it can be harder in many different ways, but it's just a different kind of hard. And it's, it can be quite tedious as well. So I've actually made a I've actually made a machinima, and I'm going to show it right here. Uh, this is a uh, Space Jam spoof using the World of Warcraft engine. Um, it's, it's, I think it's kind of entertaining, and I did the voices and the editing and most of it, not all the voices, but you'll have to see it for yourself. So here we go. Now that I'm done winning championships with the Chicago Bulls and absolutely not failing on my baseball career, I believe I'm going to stand precariously next to this rabbit hole for an hour. I could really use a good old-fashioned Big Mac. Now two for five dollars at your local McDonald's. Help, there's aliens and basketballs. That's probably Bugs Bunny. Exclusively from Warner Brothers Entertainment. Now slow down a little. No. What would you do differently next time? Well, next time I wouldn't pro I, 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 um, I think next time I'd probably make much m more video game and Warcraft r related jokes. For the, the purpose of... Uh, I, I really wanted this to be more for more for everybody instead of just for people who like the video game. Why did you do a spoof instead of a original screenplay? Well, if I was to write an original screenplay, I think it'd be very Warcraft centric, and I feel like most people wouldn't be able to get it. And that being said, even if I tried to do it something that was a completely different plot, I don't think I would have had time to write a a good story that I've been proud of. So I just instead I thought, hey, you know. Everyone really likes. It. Everyone knows Space Jam. Everyone yeah. knows Michael Jordan. I thought, you know, I can make a spoof. You know, making a joke of uh, making a jo making jokes about Space Jam and Michael Jordan, and people who uh, people who like the movie will be happy because someone's redoing it in World of Warcraft, and the people who don't like the movie will like it because it's like humor making fun of it. So I feel like I can please both audiences. I think that's a, that's a good step for making a movie. Okay. Okay. Well, last question. Uh, and please be honest. All right. Uh, how long have you spent playing this game? World of Warcraft. Yeah. Well, um, well, I started playing in 2005, and I believe I've probably spent 90 real life hours on that game, on that one character. And if you probably add up all the other characters, I wouldn't be surprised it was triple that amount. So, a long time. All right. How many years? Well, 90, 90 days, so 90 times 3 would be 280, so like probably like 280 days, and that's almost an entire year, so. Wow, that's a lot of years yeah. you, you played. Yeah. Even this movie that you made up on, you know, this movie, and, <laughs> and my well, cinema, and it just goes out onto you, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm very attached to it, and, and probably the reason I would make a movie about about this game is that I'm so attached to it, and I've been playing it for years. Well, I, well that's, thank you for your honesty. And, thank you um, for having me. Thank you for watching for the impression film Arcade, and, and tune in next week uh, when we will have seen and um, to talk about the art of comedy. Good night.